guys welcome to the throwdown my name is Faith Nema and today we are going to be making something really healthy I am sure that in December you guys did damage so we want to make something healthy so that you can be having some options for breakfast that you can take that are not so unhealthy so today we're going to be making a mango smoothie and we have our mangoes I know mangoes are still in season so for our recipe today we are going to be using some mangoes and bananas and we are also going to be using plain yogurt, you can also use mala. Uh, this is a sugar free smoothie so you don't need sugar for it but we will be using some toppings, we will be adding chia seeds, sesame seeds, some oats, some cardamom to flavor this smoothie bowl and some poppy seeds. So what the seeds do is that they add more fiber and they make sure that you stay fuller for longer. So let's get right into it. So we have some mangoes over here. Uh, mine are overripe. These are the best for smoothies. So I'm just going to start by peeling. I hope this is a good one because mine have really overstayed. But you just need to peel yours. So this is a nice mango, I'm just going to slice it. Just roughly chop it and then you need your blender you need to put them in your blender so I'm going to add an additional mango one is enough but if you want to make and then have it later in the evening, you can use two mangoes. So I'm going to add one banana to this smoothie. So I'm just going to peel. Actually, let me just do half. Then I'll use the other half for garnishing. So this is my mixture. I'm adding in my cardamom right now. 
and then I'm going to add in the plain yogurt. Then we're going to blend this. So everything is now in my blender. I'm just going to cover this and blend until everything is smooth. it easier for the blender to work. going to pour this it's very thick <laughs> really nice and thick and that's what you want I'm 
now going to make it pretty. So I'm going to start with one banana. And then I'm just going to chop at an angle. fast before you eat with your mouth so you're just going to make it really nice and pretty then I'm going to put my sesame seeds Poppy seeds and then then you need more fiber so that this can make you feel full. So we're adding oats and that's it. So here is your smoothie bowl and it looks so pretty. I just want to eat this right now. Tell me if this doesn't look sumptuous because it does. And it's a balanced meal because you have some sugar from the bananas which will give you a lot of energy throughout the day. You have some seeds which are fibrous and will keep you fuller for longer and you have chia seeds which have protein in them. So this is the perfect, perfect, perfect breakfast meal so let's set that aside and I'll show you another simple yummy thing you can make for breakfast so for the second recipe we are going to take oats and level up uh, we're going to take ordinary oats and make them really nice so we're going to be using ordinary oats these are fast oats we have some water because we're going to be boiling this and then some bananas for garnishing. We have ghee. You know how you can use uh, some butter in porridge to make it a little bit creamier. So now we have substituted and we're going to be using ghee. Ghee will make it uh, creamier and it will be milky. And then we have some salt, some sugar and cinnamon to make it warm and hearty. So if you don't want to use sugar, you can also use honey. Honey is a good substitute for sugar and it's healthier. So we're going to move on to the cooker so that we can start by boiling the oats. So I'm going to uh, put the water in and the oats in. This is half a cup of oats. Oats really double up in size so you don't want to use too many oats so half a cup is enough then I'm going to put in my cinnamon uh, my sugar this is one tablespoon you can use one tablespoon you can use two depending on if you love sugar but uh, you need to balance it out with a little bit of salt so that all the flavors pop and then I'm going to add in the ghee and I'm just now going to let it come together and boil so I'm going to stir Because this is fast oats, you just need like five minutes to let 
that it boil and come together and it's going to be okay. I have some ghee in the pan. So because bananas have sugar, they will caramelize on their own because they have sugar in them. So uh, let me just add more. So I'm going to just leave it as it is for 30 to one, 30 seconds to one minute. They should be nice and brown and then I'm going to turn on the other side. So now both of this is done, the porridge is looking nice and thick and my bananas are already caramelized. It smells so good, it smells nice and buttery so I'm just going to now serve the oatmeal into my bowl. And I'm going to top my oatmeal with this caramelized banana. Garnish it by adding nuts if you want. You can add more fruits to this, strawberries. Um, you can add also chia seeds if you want. But this is absolutely heartwarming. 
especially on a cold Monday morning, this is what you want to be having. And that's it. Here is your oats with caramelized bananas and the mango smoothie bowl that we made. And I think I have set you up for January. This is simple, quick. It didn't even take long to put together. So I am sure you're going to find it easy to put together yourself and it's healthy. So uh, thank you so much for watching. My name is Faith Nema. You can follow me on Instagram uh, underscore Faith Nema and you can find me on YouTube. My name is Faith Nema and do not forget to keep watching the throwdown. <laughs>